Today is not going to be a very good video sound day. There's laundry being done downstairs and a dishwasher being run upstairs. So we're going with laundry. The definition of small YouTuber has changed a lot over the past few years. At the time I'm filming this video, I have 23 subscribers. Several of you leave comments regularly, and a good portion of you have more subscribers than I do, which is very flattering. It makes me feel like a YouTuber's YouTuber, you know, for people with refined taste. But still, having 22 subscribers makes me a tiny YouTuber. I'd like to put things in some perspective, though. Now, I'm assuming for the purposes of this video that one subscriber equals one person, which I know is not necessarily true. But if we assume that all 23 of you are real people and none of you are Russian robots, and you all came over to my house, it would be a pretty respectable party. You'd certainly fill up my living room and probably spill over into my bedroom. And if you look at YouTubers that have more subscribers than me, the numbers get even more impressive. My friend Mark, who does really wonderful tongue-in-cheek thoughts from places videos has 151 subscribers. He could sell out a black box theater and do a one-man show. Kristen Witcher, a YouTuber who interviews creative people in Savannah, Georgia, has 3,800 subscribers. That's enough for standing room only at the Metropolitan Opera House. Mikola, another fairly small YouTuber who comments on YouTube culture and who sadly hasn't uploaded a video in a while, has over 20,000 subscribers. That's enough to fill up Madison Square Garden, which is a basketball stadium in New York City. You all aren't the sportiest, I know. Then we get into the bigger YouTubers. The Vlog Brothers, for example, have 3.1 million subscribers, which is enough to fill up the Chicago metropolitan area. Can you imagine if all the nerd fighters lived together in the same city? I think it might actually be pretty frustrating because we all have similar values and I think we'd have pretty high expectations of one another. And then if we go to the top of the heap, Niga Higa has nearly 21 million subscribers. That's the population of a U.S. state, and not a small state like Vermont. We're talking Florida, one of the biggest states. And if all of his subscribers lived together, let's just say that there would be some pretty weird demographics. A lot of teenagers, and I assume a lot of children. Why does that frighten me? So I hope that gives you a little bit more perspective on what being big on YouTube actually means in human terms. I've also heard today from trustworthy sources on the internet that there's been a shooting at the YouTube headquarters and that a few people are injured. I hope that everyone there is safe and I have decided to make a video today because I thought that that was the most loving thing that I could do for this platform that we all care about.